Hey everybody, Ray O'Brien here. Welcome to It's All About the Cocktail. So tonight I want to show you something that's very easy. The whole idea here are simple cocktails at home. So I'm not going to think of weird far off ingredients or stuff you don't know where to get or if you're ever going to use again. Like I say, everybody can't be here. Somebody has to drive. Okay. I've seen a lot of really, really suave Irish bartenders, a lot of beautiful Kellys out there making drinks with these excellent accents, these excellent Irish brogues. I don't have the Irish brogue, you know, because I'm an Irish American. All I got is this weird head of hair and that Irish attitude and a bum arm from drinking and driving. That's why I want to advocate drinking at home. So you're going to see me do some things um, kind of with my, well, my, I'm going to shake it, do everything with my left hand. That okay? All right. So let's begin. Get to it, Ray. Okay. So this is a very simple drink. Um, it dates back to the Lincoln administration. You know, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, 1864, it was in Jerry Thomas's How to Drink. And uh, when it first came out, he used powder sugar. And it's since evolved, since then, they evolved it. They put an egg in there. Now, but Ray, I don't want an egg in mine, man. I don't want no, I don't want no salmon ellies. You're not going to get salmonella. My wife is pretty crazy about this. She goes, you just got to take it and you got to wash it off really good, okay? But the egg is good because the egg gives you the frothiness. It gives you the texture. It doesn't add a lot of taste, but it does add the texture. You can, there are, there are aqua, aqua, aqua David or aqua, aqua something or other. Is it a, a egg substitute you can use? I'm going to use it, okay? Because I like it. So, the whiskey sour is just whiskey, bourbon, citrus, and sugar, okay? So, for the citrus, we're going to use lemon juice. And for the sugar, we're going to use simple syrup. Now, simple syrup is just one-to-one, -one, sugar and water, boiled it in the stove, and brought to a liquid form and I put in a little bottle here. The lemon juice I squeezed prior to this and I was able to strain all the impurities and seeds or whatever else in there. So let's get to it man. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crack that egg in our I'm gonna uh, see now here's the thing here's the part where I'm telling you. I seen guys with a really fancy and they pour the egg back and forth and separate the egg yolk out. I can't do that. So I'm gonna use but then I'm going to use like an egg separator, okay? I'm going to use my handy dandy egg separator here. So crack that egg on your mixing tin. Put in your egg separator. Look at that. Yolk drops in there, and all the other stuff drops out. Okay. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Look at that, man. <laughs> all right. So we just want to strain out that egg white because that's the part we want. Then a little bit drip off there. Okay, get rid of that, Ray. Okay. Then if you want to cook that later, you can cook them and fry yourself up an egg, egg yolk, but I'm just going to get rid of that. So what you want to do is you want to put in your, your egg white. Okay. And then we're simply going to put three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Make sure the top's on there tight. Three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice coming up, Ray. Okay. Put that in our shaker. And then three quarters of an ounce, same thing. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Okay. Let that gel with the egg a bit. Kind of mixed in each other. Now I'm going to let that kind of gel with each other. And I'm going to get an, a, a glass out of our chiller. Okay. Now, like I say, if you don't have a chiller, oh, whiskey, it's a perfect glass. 
I like this glass because it's, you know, got a funny sh shape to it. Five-sided with pentagram. Yeah, okay. Kind of like five-sided glass on there. Get your eyes on right. Okay. So what we want to do first is we want to dry shake it, okay? Dry shaking is just before we put in the ice, we want to kind of let it mix mix everything together and kind of emulsify is the correct word. We don't want to put the ice in there right because it might, you know, kind of cling to an ice cube or stick with the ice. So we're going to kind of dry shake it first. Give it a tight seal and go nuts with your shaker. They say 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, and a tight ass seal on there, isn't it? Okay, then we simply want to add our two ounces of our two ounces of our Templeton rye. They say this dates back to the Al Capone days. Right up to the top, right? Okay, put that in our shaker. Then let's we'll simply put it in our ice. Let's get the egg off our hands first. Okay. Nice to have running water in there. Helps out a lot. Okay, let's add our ice. And then let's give that another shake, man. About 10, 11 seconds, okay? If you can, try to do it above your shoulder. And give it an even smile. Just about, I wasn't counting, but I wonder your hands are getting getting really cold you kind of know you're there okay grab yourself your Hawthorne strainer and then put it in your glass look at that texture look at that it's cool I'll give it a little bit of that bit of that frothiness in there. Cool out, ready to get all flow. Okay. Okay. Then what I like to do is I like to. Now my wife says, every time I get they always drop a cherry in the bottom. Okay. Isn't that crap. We'll drop a cherry in the bottom. And then I'm going to make a flag. I'm going to take a slice of orange. And I'm going to take a maraschino cherry. Now, you can get a lot of cherries. But I st I'm kind of sheltering within, man. I'm not going out. So I didn't get any. You can order, order for that for pickup. But I kind of have to do this down there. because, well, I guess I can do it up here. Make myself a little flag with a cherry and an orange. Put it around the edge of the glass. And then what I like to do is like to take my Angostura bitters and I like to put like three or four drops in there. Now if you want it real fancy, you can take your you can take your, your cocktail pick and make little things you know like the baristas do with the coffee and we're not gonna do that okay we're gonna give that a whirl though okay give it a try ray do it over here so i don't poke myself the, with the with the oh wow that is good man you gotta try one of these i mean i would really like it 
if you would obviously subscribe to me subscribe hit the bell then you're privy to everything that I've done before this and everything that's coming it'll give you a notification when I've done something new and that's a cool thing um, also if you could share this with somebody I don't even care if they're in the same house you just send it to somebody okay and and like this would be cool but the main thing is I want you to send me a back comment man come on how hard is it to scroll down where it says comments and put a few words in there a sentence a couple of sentences if you want to leave paragraphs that's cool too but uh let me know if you like whiskey sours uh, let me know what, what type of some people like bourbon in there some let me know what you like in yours um templeton is a fine fine rye whiskey so you gotta try one of these man i mean you got i mean you gotta try it with the egg in there because the egg gives you a little froth in it it's so cool Wow, I'm not just saying that. So, until next time, my friends, just remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the cocktail. I'll catch up with you just in time for the next round. I'll see you later. Wow. How'd you like that, Colonel Boy? Was that pretty good? Yeah, right. I don't know. Get that off me, man. I'm trying to sleep, right? Okay.